Good morning, everybody. I am Daphne Shalit, Assistant Professor from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Dr. T. Timaya Institute of Technology, hosting today's program. Distinguished Chief Guest, Principal, Vice Principal, Dean, HODs, faculty members, students, and all the participants. It brings me an immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you to the National Virtual Project Exhibition, Dr. TTIT Expo 2021, organized by Dr. T. Timaya Institute of Technology in association with Institutions Innovation Council, Dr. TTIT KGF. The global pandemic has forced educational institutions to reinvent themselves in various ways. This is a chance to rebuild digital experiences that will change how information is going while allowing communities to connect in new and unique ways. So without much delay, I invite Dr. Hedji Shanoi, Vice Principal, President of Dr. TTIT, TTIT's Institutions Innovation Council to address the virtual gathering and give away the felicitation. Over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Daphne. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Yeah, yeah. Very good morning and a warm welcome to all. I am privileged to give the welcome address on this occasion of Project Expo 2021 held virtually organized by Dr. TTIT's Institutions Innovation Council. First of all, I extend my warm welcome to today's chief guest, Dr. Dola Sanjay S, Principal Ramchandra College of Engineering, West Godavari District, Andhra Pradesh. Welcome you, sir. On behalf of management, principal, staff, and all students, I thank you for having accepted our invitation to give the keynote address. I take this opportunity to thank our beloved president of Golden Valley Educational Trust, Dr. T. Venkatabardhan, for his continuous support and his best wishes. Let me extend a warm and hearty welcome to all the jury members who have accepted to be a part of this event. Also, I extend my warm welcome to our beloved principal, Dr. Syed Arif, our Dean, Professor Rukmini Divakaran, and all the members of Dr. TTIT family, including teaching and non-teaching staff. I extend a warm welcome to all the participants from all the disciplines and various institutions for this function. I hope this project expo will throw light on the recent advances in engineering and technologies leading to innovations for the benefit of the humankind. Before I conclude, a few words about the Institutions Innovation Council. IAC was established in our college in the year 2018 through Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell, Government of India, with the intention to develop an ecosystem and promote innovation and startup in the campus. In this direction, a lot of activities are carried out in our college, and as a result, we scored four stars against five in the academic year 2019-20. We encourage and facilitate all of our students and faculty members to take up innovation projects, which lead to product development and startups. We also encourage local schools and colleges, the students from there, in this direction, towards developing our country self-reliant or Atmanirbhar Bharat. Thank you and welcome all of you once again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the warm welcome. Now I request the media in charge to play the video of our college. Runal sir, finally unmute. Established by a great philanthropist and educationalist. My vision is to develop world class institute out of the students who hail them. Socially, economically, 
weaker sections of the society. We need a vision, a commitment, and a very, very strong will. I think the gratification is what better social and charity work can I do. And I will follow in his footsteps and continue to do that. Spread over an expanse of 30 acres in the historic city of Kolar Goldfields and Mines, the lush green surroundings of the Institute provides a conducive atmosphere for an excellent academic experience and growth. Dr. T. Timas of Technology is imparting quality technical education and empowering the students and thereby transforming the students. With state-of-the-art infrastructure, the college offers undergraduate courses in various engineering fields like mining engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical and electronics engineering along with postgraduate courses in mechanical engineering and tech machine design with each department having its own laboratory and research facilities besides the Institute has the distinction of being the first private mining college in India to have the only model mining lab. The Biofield Research Information and Demonstration Center at Dr. TTIT has been bringing awareness about renewable sources of energy amongst the students and general public of the Kolar district. The Geological Museum adds another milestone with its collection of rare gems, stones and fossils. The institute provides high-speed internet connectivity for the students. Besides providing one of the best libraries in the state with more than 43,000 books, along with many international and national journals. Digital library, language lab and audio-video block inside the library makes it an ocean of knowledge. The Institute is recognized by the All India Council of Technical Education and affiliated to Visveshwaraya Technological University, Government of Karnataka, has not only been in the forefront of imparting top-notch education, but also has gone full throttle in placing its students at respectable positions. Our best candidates have come from this college. So you all should be really proud of the institution that you're in. Ever striving to give its students the best of the best, the Institute has tied up and signed MOUs with various organizations and institutes. We also have a Cisco Academy program where we have trained around 300 plus students on networking concepts. For civil and mechanical uh, students, we have a CAT center. I have a dream to get placed in a good company and this college helped me by providing placement training classes like TCS, IT employability and also we have been trained for Cisco Networking Academy. With many scholarship programs running, the institute walks the extra mile. I was from a poor background. So in that situation, my entire fees was weighed by President Venkat Vadin, sir. To provide good education to all, including the meritorious and underprivileged. With the encouragement from our President Dr. T. Venkat Vardhan, we at Dr. TTIT is in the process of achieving academic excellence. To develop true sportsmanship spirit, the college has a huge sports complex. The college had organized VTU Athletic Meet with more than 1,800 participants and was a benchmark in the university. 
the cafeteria at Dr. TTIT presents an ideal place of sitting, meeting and eating. There is a medical center at the heart of the campus to take care of the students' health. Our college also gives us opportunity to improve our hobbies. We have a college music bank. The student center and amphitheater at Dr. TTIT is the hub of all extra and co-curricular activities. The college has four hostels for boys and girls. Each hostel has a separate mess facility, recreation centers and gym. The college has its own fleet of buses to provide transportation facility for staff and students from various locations. Over the last 30 years, more than 7,000 students have graduated from Dr. TTIT. It feels great to be back here. A lot of changes, a lot of positive changes, more hostels, campus improvement, and it's great. Recently, Dr. TTIT added another precious stone to its crown by hosting the first international conference on recent trends in technology, engineering, and applied science and continue its trend of churning today's learners in tomorrow's leaders. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Dr. Um, Syed Arif sir, principal of Dr. TTIT, to inaugurate and declare the virtual expo to be opened. Over to you, sir. Thank you, madam. A uh, very good morning to one and all, and especially to our chief guest, Dr. Dola Sanjay sir, who will be giving a keynote address. I'm indeed very happy that, in spite of pandemic, and with a short notice, our College Innovation Council has organized this National Expo Project 2021 event virtually. I came to know that we have received very good response, not only from our institution, across the state and also from other states. And many students have registered for this event. All of them have got a wonderful opportunity today to showcase their projects and share their innovations through this virtual platform. I want to say something, not in detail, of course. We all know that India has implemented National Education Policy 2020. And all we know that in this, uh, they have envisaged and given top priority for the holistic and multidisciplinary fields of learning and applications, uh, leading to innovations in every field of life on Earth for securing sustainable, safe, and overall growth for the benefit of everyone on this earth. This is the main theme of our national education policy. With this, I don't want to you know, go in detail because the inauguration is very short and uh, the students has to present is a one day program. Uh, finally, I'm happy that at the end of the day, best projects will be recognized and rewarded under various categories. And I wish all the participants a very best of luck. Thank you. Jai Hind. Unmute, madam. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, today we have the presence of an esteemed guest, Dr. Dola Sanjay, principal of Ramachandra Institute of Technology, Andhra Pradesh, with us today. We welcome you, sir. Now I invite Professor Manjunath Babu. Associate Professor from the Department of Mechanical Engineering to give a brief introduction about the keynote speaker. Over to you, sir. Well, thank you, Madam. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, good morning to one and all. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Majinath Babu, 
uh, taking this opportunity to introduce a keynote speaker for uh, today's event. Uh, Dr. Dola Sanjay has obtained his BTEC from UBDT in 1999, uh, MTech in Applied Sciences from Dr. MGR University in 2007, PhD from JNTU in 2015. He is having more than 20 plus years of experience in teaching with reputed engineering colleges. He has insightful experience as principal, in charge principal, vice principal, and uh, he has a, a technical role on AICT, LIC, Facts Finding Committee, NBA, MAC, ISO. He started his teaching career in 2000 and played many roles uh, serving many institutions like Kupam Engineering College, CMRIT, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Tirupati, Demo Institute of Technology, uh, Gitanjali Institute of Science and Technology, Atmakur Engineering College, Sri Institute of Technical Education. Currently, he is working as professor and principal since from 2016 in Ramchandra College of Engineering, Eluru. He has published more than 40 plus of papers in international and national journals, attended 15 plus of international or national conferences, more than 20, attended more than 20 FDP, uh, he has attended many seminars and workshops, and he has uh, certified more than 15 plus of certified courses. He chaired as a resource person for many technical events. He is a member for 15 plus of professional bodies. He is the editorial member for various journals. He holds more than eight awards for his technical achievements. He is member of board of studies for various institutions. He has published three textbooks. He holds three patents. He has more than 200 projects. So thank you one and all and I would like to wish all the participants a very best. Thank you, sir. Now I thank, you. thank you, sir. Now I request uh, our keynote speaker, uh, Dr. Um, Sanjay, sir, to give away the felicitation. Over to you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. All the dignitaries uh, on the screen and off the screen. I felt very happy. Uh, looking to my native place KGF in the uh, video of uh, and TTIT. I felt very happy. It's been a long gap of nearly 15, 16 years. I have not been to KGF. I felt very happy and I thank the management and principal uh, for giving me an opportunity to be a part of this uh, project expo. I felt very happy listening to that in the year 2019 under IIC right the college has got uh, four stars really in the direction of innovation right uh, the institute is doing a very excellent job and i felt very happy it is overall performance right conducting uh, for 1800 participants uh, organizing an athletic meet and for uh, uh, vtu right it is a really great job there is an overall development in the institutions Right. Uh, so in this with this few introductory words, I would like to uh, uh, tell to the students, right? Make sure that right. So always many times I used to say that uh, if you feel satisfied, you are always satisfied, right? So basically when you go to your um, friend's house without having breakfast, their mom, dad or uncle, auntie, they will offer you please have a breakfast. But generally people say that, no, thanks, I had the breakfast. Thank you, thank you. That means to say you have to first feel satisfied. So many times when I have given a lot of uh, sessions, many people were asking me, right, what do you mean by success, right? Everybody are telling that you have to be successful, you have to be successful, but many doesn't know the actual meaning of what do you mean by success or successful. I used to say, say for example, when you had your first walk, when you started riding your bicycle, when you started riding your two wheeler, right, you felt so happy as per me. If you feel that you are successful means if you are happy, you are absolutely successful. 
right one more quote always i used to take that uh, please don't underestimate the power of common man right so it's a movie dialogue but whatever it may be see that uh, the projects that is been developed right all under the ug or pg right whatever the projects has been developed please make sure that right those projects are being done which is going to help the society right i talk a lot about uh, society i talk a lot of, about uh, ethics right if you are having good ethics and if you are going to do something for the society then obviously we have achieved our goal right so there will be lot of pro- many people will be thinking what sort of project right how the project has to be implemented or how it is going to support right say for example many times when i was in kolar or kgf right i heard that the tomatoes were uh, thrown on nh4 right uh, so because the cost of tomatoes is hardly 50 paisa per kilo or 25 paisa per kilo right during my school days during my college days i have heard about such things right so why what actually is happening can right even today right uh, i have tried to explain right in the area of this west godavari we have started implementing those projects right? that is something like this right you people are uh, having lot of technical knowledge and skill and uh, try to make sure that develop an app take the support of uh, google maps right then try to map the what you call it as uh, agricultural lands right so that each farmer will go to that app and it try to um, identify who are the people right that means to say always i call it as a supply and demand if the supply and demand is Uh, is approximately same then there will be no loss for the farmer so that they he can see when exactly he or she can harvest the crop based on the uh, going through the what do you call it as app before sowing the seeds right you may get the crop after 40 days or 45 days or something so you can plan when exactly you need to place the uh, seeding when you have supposed to do based on that it is going to be very helpful for the farmer like that we have lot of right uh, geo tagging for our silk in kolar is very very essential right so a lot of uh, uh, projects in and around so many times i tell to students my friends everybody try to identify a problem of your own right so whatever the problem you have if you try to give a solution to your problem then obviously it is going to be a good project and it is going to be a solution for the society and the world and entire india so because everywhere there is a human kind right obviously we require a solution then the solution provided right now you can take a support of lot of funding agencies try to convert that um, idea into a small prototype then whatever the prototypes you have been developed right as of right now if my knowledge is right whatever the projects has been done for your ug or pg or under this project exhibition right make sure that you try to convert the prototype that has been developed that is going to be present today convert into a a uh, what do you call it as a product and make sure that you are going to commercialize that product so there will be lot of funding agency right lot of support is been given by msme right you can register under startups right if you are a woman right you have nearly 40% of subsidy will be given right you have different category right lot of funding agencies are ready right even our government is telling that right uh, uh, local products has to be developed so because when you try to observe carefully being an 130 crore uh, population country india is the biggest market for any product for commercialization right if you try to keep a margin of say for example 1 rupee then if you can sell your product to 100 crore people you are a crore pati of 100 crores you can make as a profit right i am not talking make sure that you are going to make the profit as very high also right yeah, i am talking just a rupee profit then the, because the market is very huge any product you talk it 
when i was in schoolings also when i was in college we have seen that right many times we feel that okay what do you call it as uh, uh, we feel very um, attached to imported products right so, so that's that's how the marketing has started and because we feel right okay rather than local we always think of imported one right if you can change your mindset and make sure that right local products manufactured in and around us if you can try to market 100% we are going to be superpower and our economy is going to be very huge right so every project right that has been developed are that are going to be uh, projected today in this expo right will be having a better future concentrate registering under msme make sure that you are going to make a startup from this product commercialize the product and you can become an entrepreneur and you are going to give a job opportunity you are going to create a job opportunity for uh, at least some 3 to 4 people at the initial stage and if you can make up to some 10 people in your company i think the entire uh, college students if they can become at least some 10 to 15 person becomes entrepreneurs i think we are we are going to achieve a great milestone if you imagine that 15% of india is going to become an entrepreneurs then it's going to be very great achievement right so please uh, make sure that right a lot of opportunities are there only thing is we need to grab the opportunities that are available right i feel very proud that the team has taken an initiative projecting this is a platform right this this is a platform where we import and we exchange lot of knowledge we gain some ideas i sincerely request whatever criticism right whatever critics right the um judiciary body is going to give on projects take those things as positive and try to overcome those uh, comments given by those judges and see that if you try to improve in those areas your product is going to be the one of the best product make in india i thank once again the entire team for giving me an opportunity to be part of this project expo right if i get an opportunity i'll give it because it's an uh, for an entrepreneurs or if it is with respect to uh, right igniting young minds on research area lot of concepts will be available right try to go through all those things right i request right at least right uh, uh, one or two out of these projects becomes an entrepreneur right uh, i think uh, the iic and uh, the ttit institute and the principal everybody will feel they have succeeded in organizing this uh, project expo uh, once again whole heartedly thank the entire team for giving me such a wonderful opportunity and i felt very happy being a part of uh, this project and i feel very proud my wife is an alumni of gvit right she is in electronics and communication right and my education is everything from kgf and i am so happy that i am a part of my place and my institute that urgam that fgc right really uh, today i don't know right i am very 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 pretty much happy i thank lot uh, sir sir for giving me such a wonderful opportunity for me right for the entire team and i thank uh, manjunath for giving me or inviting me and once again i whole heartedly thank everybody all the best for all the participants thank you thank you one and all thank you sir thank you for sharing your knowledge thank you for motivating and guiding our students that you have rendered to our students to become young entrepreneurs thank you sir thanks a lot now i invite dr pd sudarshanan head of ranking and accreditation dr ttit to render the vote of thanks over to you sir a uh, very good morning to all it is my pleasure to propose vote of thanks for this inaugural session of project expo this project expo has given an opportunity to many students to expose their practical knowledge gained during their graduation at the outset i thank our management for providing moral and financial assistance for organizing this event i hereby acknowledge our gratitude to the keynote speaker dr dola sanjay principal of ramachandra college of engineering eluru for accepting our invitation 
and delivering very informative keynote address. Thank you, sir. We are also happy to hear that you are uh, from KGF and uh, part of uh, our uh, family. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, accepting our invitation and attending this function. We are also happy and grateful to our principal, Dr. Uh, Saida Ripsa, uh, Vice Principal, HOD of Mechanical Department, and IAC President, Dr. H.G. Shanai, sir, and uh, Dean, Madam, R Professor Rukmi Tiwagaran, for their support and guidance provided in organizing this event. I am also thankful to all HODs, project coordinators, and all teaching and non-teaching staff to their active support. I should especially uh, mention and thank the IAC coordinator, Daphne Shalek, for her remarkable efforts in organizing this uh, program in a short notice. Finally, I thank all those who are present for this inaugural function and wish all participants a great day ahead. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir. I request the participants to kindly join in the respective departments links immediately as the links are already shared in the respective department groups. Thank you all. Thank you for joining the session. So we, we invite everybody to join for the validatory program at 3.30 p.m. today with the same Microsoft team links. Thank you all. Thank you all for joining. Thank you. Thank you, sir. To the chief guest. Thank you.